Hello from Magic Kingdom. So we're at Magic Kingdom for a cast member preview, myself being the cast member and you being my guest of Tiana's Bayou Adventure. So we have to go to the TTC to get our wristbands and then head directly over to Frontierland to go to Tiana's Bayou Adventure, which I don't even know if it's running right now. We'll see. And what I mean by that is that Tiana's has been a little bit undependable, a little bit inconsistent with its operations while it's been doing its cast member previews that it's been doing for about a week now, a little bit less than a week. So hopefully we'll be able to ride this today. We're heading all the way down here to check in. So this is where we're getting the wristbands over here and I did get a message that Tiana's is not currently operating. Let's see that wrist burning. Yeah. Tiana's Bayou Adventure. So let's see if we can ride this. I don't know. The cast members of the check-in didn't say anything about Tiana's being down. So maybe that was just like a delayed message. I'm hoping, we'll see. But it's probably down because again, it's just been having those issues the entirety of its tentacle rehearsal run so far. So we've made it to Magic Kingdom. We're also planning to have dinner a little bit later, probably pending on when we get on and off of Tiana's Bayou Adventure. So we're heading down to the event entrance, which there's an A-frame for down here. And we should just be able to hold up our wrists and walk inside Magic Kingdom. So we're just heading to Frontierland just to see what the situation looks like from there. And then, I don't know, seeing how we end up spending our afternoon. Something that Brennan brought up is that we could totally go to, or try to go to Tony's, Tony's Town Square Tony. restaurant. Um, because that was where I told Brennan we were going on our uh, engagement evening. And now I kind of want to go. Now she wants to go. It is a romantic restaurant too, definitely. And we haven't been there in a while and we were talking about going back. So this could be the perfect time to do it. <laughs> so I brought this Fuji water that's been in our freezer for Brennan because she likes water a lot. <laughs> and I also brought that fan because it is just like, <laughs> ridiculously hot today, which is cool that that's frozen. So I'm just going to just like slowly unfreeze and I brought my Gatorade for myself. And we're just sort of waiting in the shade for just a minute, checking out the dinner reservations. So I was able to get a reservation for Tony's Town Square. Brennan's just holding that in between her fan to keep herself cool. It's working. Probably gonna fill it up with water if we pass somewhere where we can get water to then add to that. Mm -hmm. So there's just a giant ice cube in there right now. <laughs> so reservation for Tony is at nine o'clock. It's about 4.30 right now. So hopefully they still accommodate us because our time is from four o'clock to five o'clock to ride Tiana's for the preview window. So presumably we'll still be able to at least get in line maybe, but they have been kicking people out at a certain time uh, just to sort of keep up with those preview windows. So we'll see. Again, that's just been uh, the motif of this video is just, we'll see. So we visited the Sunshine Tree Terrace and we got some water that now we can drink because it is just, there's like a heat advisory today. So we're passing through Adventureland and over to Frontierland, or should I say, New Orleans. We're passing by what used to be the Country Bear Jamboree. Oh yeah, the Country Bears are roaming around the Chipmunk server on the bridge right now. And Tiana's does not look like it's running. So the water is definitely running right now, but not on the drop over there. The drop is dry, but the water's running over here. And all the, uh, the walls are down. Let's go look at that. No boats are running right now either, which is unfortunate, but we just got that notification as soon as we got to the TTC. Of course, there's this little house over here. This is so cool. And then the Tiana's Bayou Adventure sign, the ride sign right here. And uh, I can see some logs, but they're up there, but they are empty. So if they did evacuations, they're done now. They have this on the ground, marking out the queue for the expected cast member previews and their guests. There's the water tower. This is cool to see while it's not running with the walls down. And this is our first look, mine and Brennan's specifically, of Tiana's Bayou Adventure with the walls down. I wonder if they purposely made the water this color. Probably. It's very swamp colored, right? There's the drop right there and you can see empty boats at the top up there. Um, all the boats backed up right there. There's a boat stopped right there. And then some mist coming out of the drop. I hear this is so cool, a celebration of family and friends of New Orleans at the proud home of Princess Tiana and Prince Naveen. That's what's on the sign right there. And then the water tower. Okay, let's go around the corner and let's see what's going on with Tiana. This is over by Thunder Mountain and there's some coordinators over here talking to people. So we did talk to the cast members over there. The ride is indeed currently down. We will get a notification on my Disney experience when it does come back up. So we could probably head back around Tiana's over on the other side so we could actually see the ride testing. This is also the Critter Co-op, which is not open right now, which is probably a good thing that this actually isn't going to open until after the ride officially opens. I feel like the course of action would just be to wait for the boats to begin cycling, and then we would know for sure to probably head around the corner to start getting ready for Tiana's to open up, maybe. I'll definitely say that Tiana's by Adventure is prettier than Splash Mountain was, definitely, with the exception of the iconic thorns here at the drop, but the exterior of Tiana's by Adventure is just gorgeous. The greenery, the cypress trees. Brennan told me what these are, I already forgot them. I called them sausage plants, cattails. 
Uh, and then even the water tower up there, like this is absolutely beautiful and we should hopefully still be here at night so we can see it. I would like the light time, nighttime lighting package. So we're heading inside to get some AC just really quickly because it is just that hot right now and we're not really doing anything, just waiting around. So we're going inside Pecosville really quickly to get some AC. So we are over by Pecosville right now and we got some more water refills. Let's go see what Tiana's is looking like. So it is not currently running still, but they're about to do the hoedown. the hoedown and we went inside the uh, mercantile to get some AC and now we're going back over towards Tiana's. I think back to Pecos pretty much just to get some more AC while we wait for this to hopefully open. There's still no logs going down the mountain unfortunately. I said that a lot of people are doing this right now just because of how hot it is. So we sat in this corner over here and I think that Tiana's is back up and going again so we're heading outside. And by back up and going I mean that people were lining up over here. They have stanchions set up over here. It looks like people are getting prepared for it to reopen but it still doesn't seemingly look like it's running again. Maybe they were just taking down the stanchions so I don't know but a lot of people are definitely waiting around for it just to open up. So what we're going to do is just take a lap on the train station and then come back a little bit later because it's not open and they definitely made an announcement for people to disperse so we're doing that. This is everyone waiting for Tiana's currently right now, but they don't seem like they're going to be opening soon. So the train's about to pull into the station right now, but these are people still waiting in line from when it went down like over an hour ago at this point. So that's pretty unfortunate. So once we can even enter into the queue, there's still going to be a pretty significant wait, I think. We only see the back of the water tower right here. Never ever lose sight of what's really important. I need to get onto the train. Just look at that emblem down there, that's pretty cool. There's everyone still waiting in the queue. I can hear some like jazz music in the background. They closed off this door over here, which used to be open. And then this is my first time getting to see this mural on the wall. It's really pretty, there's a lot going on there, that's for sure. Welcome to Main Street, USA. As we come into the station, everybody, please remember to remain seated until we come to a complete stop and I give the all clear. Patriotic bunting. Once again, please remain. To Independence Day. Just ahead, I heard some new critters are moving in and looking to make a splash. Take a listen. The phone goes there. I wanted to see it. Oh, they are? Oh, they totally are. We've see reached if, uh, Frontier Land Station, everyone. Still here. Okay, we are getting off here. People are standing up and queuing up. I wanted to see if they still had that blocked off back there. You used to be able to see the finale of Splash Mountain, but they still had the window blocked off, so you cannot see the finale of Tiana's. Not yet, at least. Okay, we are getting in line. We have to go all the way back there, but people are definitely entering into the queue. So we're heading around the crowd, which goes all the way back here. So the line goes back and forth there a couple times, and it continues all the way over here, past the outpost. We thought we were being so clever, riding the train and getting some, getting a breeze, a nice pleasant breeze, instead of just waiting around. So we finally found the end of the line over here by Pirates of the Caribbean, all the way in Adventureland. Allegedly, apparently Tortuga Tavern over here has closed. I don't know if that's for like the alleged uh, bar that they announced a while ago. The queue was pretty empty when we got off of the train, so hopefully we can at least be pulled inside the queue. Okay, we're moving up pretty quickly, thankfully, but it's still going to be a pretty significant wait, I think. So we can hear and see people going down the drop. We're heading back here to this gate. This is like the parade gate where the parades we just pass by on the train right there. And you can hear it going by right now, actually. I don't know how long it's going to take to ride this. I'm presuming, I don't know, there's no lightning lane, so maybe like I don't know, an hour and a half, maybe, maybe two hours, because this is a long line. So they're using the entirety of this bridge for the queue, and we're going all the way down here and then back again. Look, people are riding Tiana's Bayou Adventure. If I call this Splash Mountain at some point today, I do apologize. That is a muscle memory that might take a little bit to correct. So we've made it to the bridge over here. And we have the appropriate wristbands to ride this right now. It's about 6.30 right now, so the ride went down like two and a half hours ago when we made it to the TTC. So anybody that wants to ride Big Thunder Mountain Railroad has to go over here to access that. So we sort of made it to the end of this like down and back section. We need to go down and then back one more time. Alright, we've made the final turn here. There are people riding the ride. 
I don't want to say that we're getting close, because we're not, but at least we're going to be inside the ride queue at some point soon. So they are not running water on the big drop over there. This will definitely be a cool memory to have at some point in the future, just waiting in this long of a line, right? Yeah. Hopefully it's not too bad. I guess this is why they're probably not going to be opening the co-op for a little bit, because they will very likely be using this as an opening day queue. I don't know, maybe they're using it right now for the preview. This is one of the Critter Co-op signs. Isn't this like the Splash Mountain logo or something? At least we're moving. We've almost officially made it into the actual queue for Tiana's Bayou Adventure. So we're about to head through the hedges. There's Brennan posing in front of the Tiana's Bayou Adventure sign, which will take a still of that later. So that's where I filmed from up there. Also up here, and here's the return time signs for the standby and the lightning lane queues. And there's the official entrance over there with the touch points. This used to be a playground over here, and now it's just a stroller parking. Okay, we are officially, actually, legitimately in line for Tiana's Bayou Adventure. Yay, are you excited, Brennan? You hear that jazz? And there's the main entrance, Tiana's Foods, 50-foot plunge ahead. Okay, now to see how long we actually end up waiting in line. I said like an hour and a half to two hours, but it might just be like an hour. The entire queue is full. Though, but again, it doesn't have any like accommodations to my knowledge, like Lightning Lane. We have not been in this queue for so long. But then at the same time, it feels like it's just not been that long really at all. There's Tiana's Bayou General. And then a bunch of cool posters on the walls over here. Like some hot sauce and then some like character pictures. This is the exit for the ride. Still listening to like an old timey radio right now. So that's like the cue music for Tiana's. The cue definitely still has like a similar whimsy that Splash Mountain had. I miss like the little like bird houses, but there are some random like little little critter like uh, houses. Like there's a bird house over here. The train is coming to the station right now. But we are moving very quickly through the line. I do think of the queue music though. This is definitely like a happy little party. Just waiting in the, in the line for this. So there is some stuff to look at definitely in this queue. This is cool to go around the other side of it. So this is the children's garden, apparently. Whatever this is over here. So this is the children's garden. Some various gardening tools. And some celery, onions, and Crescent City princess peppers. And then over there, some okra. So that's sort of the fun little line detail, right? The radio is playing for these like gramophone phonograph speakers. And here's the really cool car that they parked outside, and then the mural. And you can see Tiana and the bean up there. This is really cool in person. This is the back of that car. And we're heading inside the main entrance. 50 foot plunge ahead. And I guess that this line is for Lightning Lane. Here we are, Brennan, we're inside. So everyone is saying right up here that that's like a Splash Mountain Easter egg because it's a bear and a rabbit and a fox. Don't know how accurate that is. I'll have to figure that out at some point later, I guess. Of course, the one place that we don't stop for a small amount of time is the one place where I would love to walk around and look at all the details. Uh, but we are heading up the stairs now. We are getting close to riding Tiana's. It's also only been about 45 minutes, so that's pretty cool. This has been getting a pretty considerable amount of hate here. Just this particular sign replacing what it used to be. Okay, this is actually really cool. Look at how they changed this cube. There's so much to look at here. Look at all these ingredients. Oh no! It's so cute. And then the beignets. What? Why are we moving to this so quickly? This is the lightning lane. You can get a smell, can't you? What? Brennan? I liked that a lot. Hello. Look at the plunge ahead. Okay, we're getting really close. So there's probably some important uh, storytelling, storylining information about the salt lines and exactly what we're doing. We are heading down to the boats. TNT storage. We're getting so close. This is the ride queue, or the loading zone. Okay, I like what they did here. That's cool. There's this safety screen over here. This used to be the merch point, and now they're all just there a little bit. We are getting on to Tiana's Bayou Adventure. Look at these details. I wish I paid more attention in the queue, or I wish I had a little bit more time to. So keep a plunge ahead. A significant amount of this still does look like Splash Mountain, with the exception of this theming here. But we're getting close. We're next to get out of the ride. We're going to be in the front row. Oh, cool. 
interesting. Yeah. There's no animatronic here. It used to be Rare Frog. to the right, it's just still so whimsical. Oh, I'm nerving. Oh, oh, oh. 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 O
a little bit wet. <laughs> it's so cool. Well, that was adorable. Oh, my eyes are cloudy. I know, right? That was the perfect time to ride this. It is 7.30. We're heading to the party now. The Mardi Gras party. I appreciate that it's a little bit less aggressive All here in this waterfall. It's still here. It's not as bad as it was, though. Welcome to Fleur de Bayou. Princess Tiana and Prince Naveen. Fleur de It's incredible! Seeing like Zippy Duda, I can't believe that we got to ride this. I'm so happy. All right, so we are heading out of Tiana's Bayou Adventure. Now I cannot wait to ride this again. Literally, that was just such an adorable ride, and I had so many premeditated biases towards this, but that was incredible. The Southern Dome Salt Company, and then this is where you can uh, look at your pictures. And this is where we. Uh, this is where we waited in line. We'll have more time to take in all the details of like the queue exit, or the right exit over here next to the queue, and then when these shops open up. I'm not really that crazy about merchandise, but it'll be cool. A lot of these are some of the posters that we saw on the ride. I just got a picture with this hot sauce sign because I'm wearing a hot sauce shirt. My friend's peeking inside the, the general store, which is clearly pretty uninhabited. Right now, no merchandise in there at the moment. So I think collectively, we loved Tiana's Bayou Adventure. It was so and it was so beautiful and I went in with all the criticism that I had been like reading and like hearing people talk about and I was like my expectations were blown Specifically like away. the dead space and the lack of a storyline or lack of conflict or a villain and I still think that that ride was just the amount of animatronics, the um, just the music that we heard I think and specifically just like the lighting of the ride, yeah. the dead spaces were still I was Beautiful. gonna say, I get what people were saying where they like relied too heavily on screens. There was a point, like when you go like down under and it's like dark and everything, yeah, there's probably more screens than they could have been. Like could they have put maybe a little bit extra in there? Yes, but I don't think it like overtook the there rest of the There was still always something to look at. There was like a Navi River journey. Um, I don't know, sort of like an, an incorporated yeah. uh, comparison there, but I still think that it really worked out well. It is an adorable ride. Oh, it's beautiful. I want to ride this again so much. Splash Mountain, it was a fun ride, but this as a successor, I think it's great. So I don't know if this is true or not, but we heard somebody saying that the ride was down again. Mm -hmm. So the lights just came on in the queue, but again, the line is not moving right now. People are starting to sit down. Oh my god, that timing, that sucks for everybody right now, but we must have just gotten off barely in time. This concludes your preview of Tiana's Bayou Adventure. Please proceed to the park exit at this time, but we are able to stick around a little bit longer for dinner. Brennan, I feel so bad. Like, that's so unfortunate. We got so lucky, but what if we could have gotten evacuated? That could have been cool. So we're heading over to Big Thunder Mountain Railroad. It says it's a 45 minute wait, but it doesn't really look like it. There's nobody outside. There's probably nobody in line, at least up, up to like this point. There's probably still definitely a line. Look at how beautiful Tiana's looks. Right now, I'm hoping, I'm trying to get, like, just the, I want to see this at night. Pretty much the line is just in this last room, so if we're going to be waiting, it's going to be like, I don't know, 10 minutes maybe at most. I don't know how true this is, but apparently they greenlit the project to add dynamite to Thunder Mountain. So, if that happens at some point in the future, that would be pretty cool, but this is going to be going down for a decent amount of time. You can still see the massive cast members and guests that are just lined up way over there. So that was like a very quick walk to get to the train. That took like five minutes.
missing. That was cool. That would have been pretty cool to be evacuated off of Big Thunder Mountain Railroad. Maybe one day Brennan will find out what's going behind Big Thunder, but they've been doing some nice investments into this park. If they do, go ahead and go with the uh, the dynamite installation here, and then the hot box ghost said that weird. And then now Tiana's Bayou Adventure. I don't know, they're putting some love into Magic Kingdom. So Splash Mountain is definitely running again, so that's good. I was about to feel like really guilty. So it is 8 o'clock right now. I do want to see if we can see some nighttime ambience on this. So we're going to go back over to Tiana's just to see if the lights have turned on, which I presume that they have, that the queue lights have. But the castle right now looks beautiful with the light hitting it just perfectly. So it's not quite dark enough yet for the lighting package to be on for uh, Tiana's Spy Adventure. Plus they're using the bridge right now still for cast member preview. So we're going to go to dinner. So next to open up is, well, Tiana's not really open yet, but uh, Country Bear Jamboree or the Country Bear... What is it? Summer sing along? So it's what it be called the Country Bear Musical Jamboree. And something that actually does have me a little bit concerned is this sign. This used to say Frontierland. This was the sign into Frontierland, and they have not put this sign back up in months. So I am apprehensive about the, I don't know, transformation potential of Frontierland into New Orleans. If they're not, not that like this sign is indicative of that, but just that it hasn't said Frontierland in a long time is interesting. We've got to the breezeway, and now back into Adventureland over to the hub, and then Main Street, running across the bridge, and look at the sky. I don't know if you can really tell, but like the, the clouds are like so pink. Okay, we've almost made it to Main Street, and I was going to talk about the clouds, but now you can't see them, but they're just like, they're beautiful. The lights have just come on Main Street here, and again, this is my favorite time of day, just because the sun is not quite set yet, but then the beautiful lights are on. This is just such a pleasant punctuation to our day, because, I don't know, we have wanted to come to Tony's Town Square and then I used it as a scapegoat. Now we're actually going to Tony's Town Square. It just it all works out. All right, so we're heading inside Tony's Town Square restaurant for some delicious uh, romantic food. So we are still waiting on our table to be ready. But the sun has almost set. I'm sure the Tiana's looks beautiful right now. This would be like the ideal time of day for me at least to see the nighttime package. All right, we're heading inside the restaurant. We're sitting right over here by the fountain. So we're to put into our order. I think that I'm gonna get this chicken at Parmigiana, and then Brendan's gonna get the fettuccine alfredo. We're gonna get this Tony's garlic bread for the table, and then I'm getting um, a wine here. I'm gonna get this Moscato, I think, just a glass of it. So this is Tony's garlic bread for the table, toasted ciabatta with roasted garlic butter and Parmesan fondata. And Brendan's just going to pour that on her little plate there, and we might save some of this for our entrees. So we're gonna get the fettuccine alfredo, a choice of roasted shrimp or chicken, tossed with fettuccine and a Parmesan cream sauce, and you got the shrimp. I got the shrimp. Uh, and then I got the uh, the chicken parmigiana. I wanted to get the spaghetti and meatballs, but I thought this was uh, this sounded really good. So lightly breaded chicken, breast baked in Tony's marinara sauce with mozzarella served with spaghetti. And I got a glass of wine. This is the Moscato. This was I think thirteen dollars for a glass. So we did end up getting some dessert. The fireworks are happening right now, but I got the seasonal cannoli, which is carrot cake. And then I got the summerberry tiramisu, uh, mascarpone mixed berries, and chambord soaked lady fingers. So we're going to eat this. Your, and then go... Your cannolis look like egg rolls. They kind of do. <laughs> I think we're going to go over to uh, Tiana's maybe to see it at night if we have time. So I came outside and the finale is happening right now, which you can't really see from where we are. Maybe a little bit. Let's go right there. Okay, we're finishing up dinner right now. So we tried to go out there to watch the fireworks and the restaurant is pretty much closed now. It's definitely closed, but this is the cute little fountain with Lady the Tramp, and now we are heading back outside into the Town Square Theater. This is where you can meet Mickey Mouse. So we're heading over to Tiana's just really quickly. We have the post-fireworks crowd anyways to combat on the way out of the park, so might as well go over to Tiana's. All right, we made it back to Frontierland over by Country Bears, and we can see Tiana's at night. This is pretty cool. Tiana's Bayou Adventure at nights, and there's finally water running now too. There's the Tiana's Bayou Adventure sign, and then all the boats are backed up, so 
presumably the cast member previews have concluded for the day. So this is the nighttime lighting package for Tiana's Bayou Adventure, and I really want to ride this at night. This is just so peaceful and serene and gorgeous. All of the multicolored lights in the water and the fireflies. And then again, you can see um, the water's actually running on the drop right now, which it was not when we rode it a little bit earlier. This is gorgeous, Brennan. I am so glad that we got to do this. We are so like lucky that we were able to ride Tiana's today. I switched back over to my other lens so I could zoom in on the water tower. Tiana's Foods. I am so happy today turned out exactly how it did. So it's probably going to take a little while, but we will be back to ride this at night just to just to experience that. I didn't want to do it just to experience just the ending of the ride. It was so great. The finale? Oh, yes. That ride was good. Don't let the internet tell you it wasn't great. It was absolutely stunning. It really was. I, I'm so like I was just so ready to be burned by that ride, but I was not. I had a fantastic time. It'll still be interesting to see if this goes away at some point because I don't know. Internet rumors are they ever true? The amount of times that we went from Main Street to Adventureland to Frontierland and then back and forth today was more than once. <laughs> it happened frequently. Hopefully, we are beating the crowd a little bit, just like the lull in between the fireworks concluding and then the park being closed, which is in about an hour. But now we're heading to the monorail to take that back to the TTC and then the tram back to the car. We even get to ride the train today just to spend time before Tiana's open. And then also Big Thunder Mountain, that was a surprise. Here comes our monorail right now and they're playing the electrical water pageant music. I am ready to get home. Today was a very long day, but a very, very memorable one. There's the electric water pageant way over there on the other side of the Roosevelt Monorail Station. I don't know if we're going to be taking a tram or just walking, because I don't know, walking was pretty quick getting here today, so we'll see. It's sort of interesting, usually we'd be right on the other side of the monorail over there on the Epcot Resort transfer line side, but we were sent this way, on this side, which is, this is the entrance to the monorail. Magic Kingdom. So we are indeed walking back to the car, but after all that pasta, it's probably not a bad idea, right? I was thinking that. So heading back to the car, obviously, we're in the parking lot. We've already said our thoughts about Tiana's Bayou Adventure. Ultimately, I liked it a lot. I thought it was a fantastic successor to um, Splash Mountain. Splash Mountain was obviously fun, it was iconic, but Tiana's Bayou Adventure, it was a really fun ride. I loved it. I'm happy it's here, and I'm yeah. excited to go on it again, and Look at all the stuff that I missed. I'm glad that we just got to go at all today, just not knowing. Arriving here and having it being down was just a bummer. So the fact that we got to ride it at all and had like a late, like golden hour almost um, experience on Tiana's, got to ride Trying to get Thunder in Mountain. line was a rough experience because it was a lot of just like waiting around in the sun. But like once we started waiting in line, everything from there was just whew. And I planned to wait in the sun. Like I brought that like air conditioning neck thing. Mm -hmm. Um, and then I brought like a Gatorade and like a frozen water bottle, so I was ready to like wait a while And luckily we did not so that was cool And then we got to go to Tony's Town School restaurant for dinner. Mm -hmm. So that was even cooler Which I was happy as to well. finally go there. And we rode the train. That was that was fun. Thanks for watching We will see you soon. Have a great day and goodbye. Bye